Hi, my name is Vamsi Krishna. I'm going to teach you 3D lighting and VFX. This is a beginning to advanced course. It contains 20 to 25 lessons. I will cover all the topics in lighting and Maya. We will see how to download models and textures. Now let's get into the lesson. Softwares that you're going to need Maya, Adobe Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve or Fusion, a old version of DaVinci Resolve. You can download it for free on the website. Lesson 1 Introduction to 3D Differences between 2D and 3D 2D 2D has two axes, Y and X. 3D has three axes, Y, X and Z. 2D can create a square shape. 3D can create a cube which has faces, vertices and edges. 3D a cube will be formed by faces, edges and vertices. The corners are called vertices, the lines are called edges and between them are face. 3D has space. This is Maya. If you are first time seeing this software, you can feel that, uh, that it's a complex software. But it is easier than you think. Maya, what you are seeing in the middle is called a grid. If you want to move that grid, press Alt plus left click to rotate the grid. Alt plus right click to zoom. Alt plus middle mouse button to pan. This is called panning. Those are polygons. It's a sphere, cube, cylinder, cone, torus and a plane. Those are the basic polygons in Maya. If you want to place it in a grid, press it and press on it. You should play with this uh, earlier shortcuts to feel comfortable with the software. If you want to move the object, press W. The arrows will appear and I'll drag the arrows to move that object. As you can see, there are three arrows. In the earlier lesson we learned 3D has three axes. Those are the three axes as you can see. If you want to rotate the cube, press E. A string like object will appear around the object. Click and drag the strings. To scale the object, press R. If you press the middle one and drag it, you can scale the object equally. If you want to scale it in an axis, click the handle in the axis and drag it. In which axis you want to scale.
be comfortable with the shortcuts practice it until you are comfortable we are taking a plane and scaling it we are taking a spear a cylinder a cone If you are going to adjust the attributes of an object, select the object and do that. If you want to enter numbers manually, like uh, if you want to translate manually by entering numbers, as you can see in the right column, you can drag to stretch it from he here as well. Translate, rotate, and scale. If you want it to be default, press zero, enter zero value on everything except the scale. Scale should be one. If it's a zero value, then the object will become invisible. Now it's like default. It's like the default cube you have taken earlier. Move the objects uh, and place it down on each of them, or uh, play with it until you uh, until you remember the all the shortcuts that I have said. So. That's it. Now I'm placing spear on the cube and dragging the cylinder. As you can see, a cylinder is going through the circle. Place it like whatever you want, uh, just like a child, toys or something and play with it okay this is the lesson for now thank you for watching bye